So Jake had to tow his bike over here today. It just died on him in traffic. So today I'm going to figure out exactly why it won't run. There's fuel in the filter and also in the bowls. I open the screw up and fuel flows out. So if it's got air and fuel, it must be missing spark. So when I crank this over with the plug grounded, we should be able to see a spark if this is working. Yeah, there's definitely no spark here at the plug, so I'm going to have to troubleshoot this all the way back and see what the problem is. I have my electrical test light, so I'm just going to trace this and make sure everything's working properly. There's power at the switch, and there's definitely power at the kill switch. I have to take this seat and the tank off to get at the coil and ignition system and disconnect the fuel from the tank. And this is the CDI box. Now it's plugged in down here so I just need to check all these connections. Well, I've unplugged and plugged in all these connectors to make sure nothing's dirty and I'm definitely getting power here at the CDI plug. With the CDI electronic ignition controller receiving voltage it should be passing voltage to the coil when you turn it on and crank it. But the coil is not getting any voltage from the CDI box. So I'm going to have to take that CDI box off and inspect it. Isn't everything holding these wires on? And so last one. So I just need to take this over to the workbench and troubleshoot it. These CDI boxes aren't meant to be taken apart and fixed. They basically have the wires and the circuits inside and then they fill the back with this epoxy. So all I'm going to do is heat up the epoxy so it's soft and melting and then I'll gouge it out with a sharp tool. This stuff's nice and soft and I'm able to gouge it right out. Make sure you don't heat it up too much. You don't want to damage the fragile electronics. It just needs a little bit more heat. So now that most of the epoxy is out of the circuit board, I can carefully pry the board from the case. Case when I notice there's a ton of rust inside of this thing. I think the reason it doesn't work is because it got water or moisture in the CDI case and rusted out some of its components. So I'm not sure this is going to be fixable. I'll have to find another one. So I've been looking around for a replacement CDI module for Jake's bike and the used ones are expensive. New ones are impossible to find. So instead of going with old obsolete technology, I decided to pick up a brand new state-of-the-art Bosch ignition system. So this should be fairly easy to install. Now the first step is to remove this left side cover because underneath of this is the rotor that we need to access. So with the cover removed I can see everything I need to work on. Here's the mount where the Bosch system goes. On the flywheel here is the lobe. There's the advance marks this Bosch firing system just mounts right here to this existing screw. The way this modern Bosch system works is the cam lobe will rotate around with the flywheel all the way around and when it gets to the Bosch module the contact points open up and then voltages flow from the hot wire down through the power wire and it fires the spark plugs. So now I just need to put the cover back on and give this a test. Now if everything works correctly we should be able to see a little blue spark. Badass. So cover secured, fuel tank back on, gas hooked up, ignition on. I usually prefer the original vintage parts, but I have to say these new Bosch modern ignition systems are so badass, I'm giving it 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Have an awesome week. I'll see you guys next time and subscribe for weekly Ichiban Moto videos.